Hello and welcome. Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, doing main campaign of uh, Dying Light 2. Um, just got this one, it's broadcast mission. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to run through it and uh, get, get on straight in with the game I suppose. But uh, while you're sitting there, watching, relaxing, chilling out, hit that subscribe button. I uh, do appreciate all your support uh, for this channel. Um, does really help me out and uh, before you do if you like the video yeah uh, hit that like button as well yeah, all, all adds up all good so yeah uh, let's let's just crack on with it shall we so yeah let's go VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, He'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tonsils. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the Commander-in-Chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? A lot of people say this place is dangerous. Well, you don't say. Dangerous? What place isn't dangerous in this town? Our best people are on this mission. You'll be working with Roe. He can be a real pain in the ass, but him you can rely on. And you can always get in touch with me. The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Roe's men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I heard Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. 
Meet me outside the canteen. Good seeing you. So that's the pillar. Doesn't look like much of a sin. You heard? People say the night runners are back. Come on, tell me. She's still seeing that. Oh yeah. I've never believed the night runners were real. Does the video still have a color? <laughs> oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Bro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden. We're all waiting for you. That's when you know you hit rock bottom. Frank, are you alive, man? Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath. Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and let the others astray. Who was that? A Judas. That's who. If it wasn't for Raph... Ugh, past is dead. So they say. <laughs> what matters is... Uh, that was the end of the Night Runners. Okay, but... How can I get to the rooftop? <laughs> You can't. Nobody can. Now, fuck you.
Contact with the boys at the electrical substation. What's going on? Don't know, but we have to reconnect the power. Some of our boys have already gone into the tower. There's no one closer than you. Will you check that out? Yeah, uh, sure.
Bro, but I'm handling them. Bro, I took care of the renegades. Good work, Aiden. Power up that substation. Fast.
Goddamn ass and power up that substation. We're waiting. On it. You're welcome, hothead.
Thanks for the help, PK Dog. Now, be a good boy and get lost. No, it's time for you to leave. Or else. Was that a threat? Mm. I'm shaking in my steel toe boots. Fellas. <laughs> Think he'll screw like a stuck pig like his buddies did? Let's check and see. It's all powered on. Ro? You receiving? Are we receiving? Everything's shining like a fucking Christmas tree over here. <sighs> Is everyone all right? Yeah. Boys are going deeper into the building. 
The area will be secured soon. Haul your ass over here. Time to do some climbing. of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. And they're setting up the lamps you got us to secure the surrounding areas. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up and... Fuck me. It's row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for. Just leave it. Get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between corridors A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. <coughs> The lamps have finally arrived, <coughs> so they can do their job. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The black guy. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Ro. I'm sorry. Okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Chris? Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. Oh! <laughs> 
I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This could better work. It's gone. Fuck.
Right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the 8th floor. You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap, or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. It ain't the Ritz, but what can you do? Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How are you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Well, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> So, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. Now, we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> the brochure sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. Ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then the rags jumped down. 
They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys screams for miles. Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Roe shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Uh, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Eight! The head honcho is here. Let's roll! Your map brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. You expect this all to fit in here? A little snug, ain't it? Whose fingers in my ass? Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. Right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. Joe? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. 
Won't say a peep. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. Alright, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. Spassky. God damn it. Jack. Come on, Jack, are you there? There's... <clears throat> There's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. 
Doc. No, Edro. I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. Aiden. Ro had the transmitter. Locate it. It's our only chance. It's no time to mourn. You must find Ro. We'll get you help as soon as the elevators are back up. I'll do what I can. Pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. Oh, well, I will. The transmitter? Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't, Aiden. Don't you... I you should wait for that potato medal I promised you. What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Ah, our dog tags. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. Here, the transmitter. Trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Locked. I'm stuck here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry! Get Frank. Yeah. <laughs> 
back on Frank here. <sighs> At least what's left of him. Theta, where are you? The 30th floor. The infected. They... They blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank? Wait! Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there and he needs you. He needs a coffee. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and step up for once? Aiden, some of our equipment should still be there. In the elevator shaft. One or two floors above you. Frank, I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to, and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. Get the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple, but it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden? Upstairs. You have to go up one level. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Went right to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb. Thank you. 
container nearby. I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Aiden! It's me. I won't leave Get you on your up. own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. You what? No, no way, Luan. Luan? I'm on the top of the second tower, and wondering how the hell I get back to the main building. Wait. Before the fall, they were rebuilding that wing. There should be a crane there or something. You see it? That's an idea. All right, thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah. <laughs> 
jumping and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. I didn't ask her to come... I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You... you're where? On top of the building? <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will. after uh, on, on your mission radio new hope imagine messages of peace and unity bringing people together giving them
the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch and that's it. Turn on the transmitter, Matt will tell me about the GRE doctor. I need to know where my sister is. And what Waltz did to us. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do... They matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? What? I'm wondering what kind of music you'd play on your radio station. I don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. What? Aiden? What have you done? You'll hear soon enough. And let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank? You handed control of this antenna to that washed up drunk? I can't believe it. I'll take it back. I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden? And I thought we were becoming friends. Uh, sorry, Jack. I made my choice. Good day, Philidor. Frank is back, and I've got some more exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drinking water are being collected in the canteen. All those in need can report to Nicholas. Stay tuned, and I'll be back soon with another message of hope. Meanwhile, enjoy the music. You made it! Hey, it's good to see you too. 
Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. Soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm... I'm sorry? Uh, sorry? I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> Shut up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. You want to go shopping for new sneakers, now? Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, uh, you said... Ah, uh, oh, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. 